hate speech in Canada? Oh, surely not. Look, I believe that we're sufficiently adult to make up our own minds. We're not children. We don't have to be constantly guarded from offence. But it does seem the very groups who demand special protection also want the right to abuse. Have you noticed that? Now, my Weinstein is from the Jewish Defence League with a story of one nasty little fascist who's coming to visit us, aren't we lucky? This is a conference taking place in Toronto and Montreal. What's it called? Uh, come back to Islam. Come back. I never left. Right. right. Come back to Islam. <laughs> Uh, and people have a, have a perfect right to have conferences about their religion. It's Islamic apologists talking about their faith. Mm -hmm. How many speakers? We identified six speakers right now. There's going to be uh, quite a few more okay. that are going to be coming. And it's their background of what they have said and the particular groups they identify for Venom. Let's have a, let's have a look at uh, one video now. This is going to be fun. Have a look at this one. You know why Allah cursed the Jew and the Nasara? When they say, Ahdina Saratul Mustaqim, Sarat al Ladina an Amta Alehim, we want the way that Allah have blessed upon the prophets, the companion, the Sahaba, the Salihin. There is the way, the way we want to follow. And then we ask Allah, Ghairil Makdubi Alehim, Waladalin Amin. Oh Allah, we do not want the way that people. Who you curse, Mahdu. When you see the word called Mahdu, Ghadab, anger. Allah refer to who? Who do Allah refer to? Who do Allah refer to, brothers? Al Yahud. That's nice. Okay, again. We probably differ. I think he has a right to say this, and I have, to, I have the right to say you are a pathetic little cretin. I don't want to listen to you. But he's coming into the country to say this. There's another fellow who said that gays should be killed? Yep. Uh, there's uh, some of these speakers, they talk openly, they say gays should be killed. You can prove Punish it. At, it's, it's, on, it's documented, it's on YouTube. So one of the speakers at this conference, as well as saying the Jews are cursed and the devil and all that, there's another speaker who says the punishment for being gay should be death? Yes, okay. yes, absolutely. You know, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, there was a similar conference here in Toronto. Actually, uh, it, it's an annual thing that they have these conferences. And we sent documentation to the Canadian government, to Jason Kenney's office, uh, about all the speakers and the fact that uh, uh, they had charitable status. And uh, we got their, uh, well, I think we were one of the groups that had put some pressure to see to it that they lost their charitable status. Do these, so, so they, they don't, uh, don't have it anymore? Uh, the, well, there's... Other groups that now are operating and offering uh, charitable uh, co donation uh, slips right. to people. So uh, we're going to be uh, uh, petitioning the government again on uh, this matter here. But at the same time, there's a number of organizations that are going to be picketing the uh, the event on October 23rd. Uh, Hindu, Canadian Hindu Advocacy, uh, various Christian groups, uh, Sikh Temple, and. Uh, and a Hindu temple. Well, you know, they're, they're the usual guys. They're, they'll always demonstrate. What about gay groups? What about left-wing groups? What about the labor movement? Why aren't they outside we, protesting that these people say Jews are the devil well, and gays have to be there's killed? There's no question about it. We're, uh, we're trying to appeal to, uh, to some organizations within the gay community to come out and show some outrage. Will to they? So far, we haven't heard back from They anyone. seem very selective. You know, they're, they're very happy to bash Israel. They're yeah. very happy to try yeah. and uh, yeah. prosecute yeah. and persecute Christians. We you want, can't say this. We want uh, feminist groups to come out as well because uh, there's equal uh, vilification of You know they won't. That you, you know that the left, whether, it, whether it's gay or, or, or feminist manifestation, will not attack organized Islam. It's and, there's very a reason, and there's a reason for that. What? The reason is that uh, the leadership of the extreme left uh, uh, regularly attend uh, Muslim Brotherhood conferences in Cairo. And that's documented. They go to well, Cairo. I know James Clark from the Stop, yes. Stop the War Coalition. That's right. There. He goes to Cairo and others from Toronto and from Montreal. They go to these conferences and they assume leadership roles in these very organizations here and they dictate the policy. In fact, there's services that commemorate the Ayatollah Khomeini in Toronto that James Clark speaks at and other personalities from the extreme left. So they set the agenda right. and they don't... I know James quite well. I've always found him mm -hmm. to be an intelligent and, and, and decent fellow. We've disagreed on certain issues. I can't imagine that he would tolerate that sort of statement for a moment. So, um, actually, we'll, we'll look at that video again, if we may, because I want people to realize, we just look at the venom in this man's face and, and how the crowd are responding. Look at what he's saying. Let, let's see that, please. You know why Allah cursed the Jew and the Nasara. When we say, Ahdina Sarat al Mustaqim, Sarat al Ladina an Amta Alehim, we want the way that Allah have 
blast upon the prophets, the companion, the sahaba, the salihin. There is the way, the way we want to follow. And then we ask Allah, غَيْرِ الْمَكْدُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَضَّالِينَ Ameen. Oh Allah, we do not want the way that people who you curse, مَكْدُو When you see the word called مَكْدُو غَدَبْ Anger. Allah refer to who? Who do Allah refer to? Who do Allah refer to, brothers? Al-Yahud. See, I got the wrong answer. I thought he meant the Mennonites. I didn't know it was going to be Jews. I'm always surprised by this. Uh, that was an episode of Little Mosque on the Prairie, which tells us what Islamic life is really like. Mm -hmm. The reality, this idiot, uh, the man who says that the penalty for being gay should be death, mm -hmm. will they be stopped? Will they be prevented from coming to the country? Uh, should the law be allowed to actually say you can't say these things? Well, we're hoping that people people who are not Canadian citizens will not be allowed to come here and spread incitement to terrorism. And that's how we look at it. It's really? not an issue just to, no, it's not an issue. When you look at the backgrounds of these groups and, and their associations with uh, terror groups, uh, we can't distinguish. Yeah, I tell you what really does make me so bloody angry at all this. A group runs an ad in a newspaper saying that children should not be exposed to graphic sexual images in public education and pressure groups make sure the ad is removed from a newspaper. Mm -hmm. These people are saying that gay men and women deserve to be killed. Exactly. And we have gay community, their leadership at least, and the left not saying a word. Their leadership is hijacked, that's why. <sighs> Thanks for your time. Thank you.